In this video, we are going to explore the Blazor Strap Library. The Blazor Strap Library allows us to use Bootstrap components in a easy manner from Blazor. Blazor Strap is the combination of Blazor and Bootstrap. So what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to learn how to install Blazor Strap in our Blazor WebAssembly application. We're going to learn also about a few of the components that this library offers us and we're going to use some of them in our Blazor application. So first, let's explore a little bit some of the components that we have here. We are in Blazor Strap IO. We can go to alerts and you can see that we have alerts in the Bootstrap style. We can have buttons. We can have carousels for carousels of images. We can have forms or images, but I wanted to click on forms and many, many, many things. We can have models. Let's have, let's use this model here. As you can see, we have this model. So it is pretty great and it is really easy to use. As you can see, we also have the code here for your reference. So let's use this library. So first I need to open Visual Studio. I will create a project from scratch. Let me create a new project. I will choose Blazor WebAssembly. If you don't find it here, you can always write WebAssembly. And as you can see, we have Blazor WebAssembly app. I will choose the name Blazor Strap Demo English, enter, and I will use .NET 5. I won't use SP.NET Core hosted. So let me create this and let's start by installing Blazor Strap in our Blazor application. So first we need to install a NuGet package. So let me right click here, manage NuGet packages. And if you are using a Blazor WebAssembly SP.NET Core hosted application, you have to do this step in the client project. So let's go here and let me put here Blazor Strap. Click on here, install, accept. And this is all great. Now I can close all of that, save. And let's go to the index.html. And you can follow the instructions from here. By the way, in home, you have that we are in the second step. We are going to add this script on the index.html file. So let's go here and let's paste this here. Now let's go back here and the third step is to add this to the program class. So let's do that. Let's go back here, solution explorer, program class. And here I can do the following. I can paste this here, control dot here, and I can say using Blazor strap. And this is great. Now let's go back here. And for the final step, I need to say using Blazor strap on my imports razor file. So let's go to imports razor. And let me paste this here and we're good to go. We're ready to make a test. So let's go to pages index. Let me delete this. And here I can write blazor strap examples. And here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write a button component just to see that everything works. So let me say BSB. And as you can see, we have several components like BSB button. So let me put here, click me and I can choose a color, color, color primary. And I can have an on click, of course, because this is a button. So I will say handle click and let me create a method code private void handle click console right line click. And as you can see, I can press Ctrl F5 to run my application. And we're going to see that we're going to get a button with the bootstrap style. If you get this error, F12, if you get this error, this is weird, but normal sometimes. It has happened to me in the past. Just go back here, rerun the application and it will just work. So let's go here and let's click on here, F12. And as you can see, we have click here. And let me change this to danger for example save and let's go back here and as you can see this is refreshing and now we have the button in red now another component that we can use is a progress bar so let me say here bs progress value zero 
and here I can put div class text center and I can say here 0% let me save let's go back here and as you can see we have 0% and the progress bar but this is really boring so what I want to do is that when the user clicks on the button I want to be incrementing this step by step 10 by 10 so let's do that first I want to make this method async let me return task and I want to say here for int i equal to 0 less than or equal to 100 and we are going to increment this 10 by 10 now let me say here I need a field here so let me say private int progress equal to 0 and I will put progress here progress and progress here and finally progress equal to i a state has changed so that the ui gets updated and finally await task delay 200 milliseconds so that we have time to see the progress bar being updated so let me save and let's go back here and now if i click on the button you are going to see that we are going from 0 to 100 and the progress bar is progressing so finally let's make a final example in which we're going to use an alert let me say here if progress is equal to 100 then we're going to say bs alert we're going to say the process has been completed and here i'm going to say color color success and is dismissible equal to true so that the user can close the alert so let me save and let's go back here and we're going to see that if i click on here when it gets to 100 then this alert will appear and not only that but i can close the alert really easily so as you can see our application is working as intended so definitely give blaze sort strap i try we can certainly not cover all of the components in a simple video but you should give it a go and make use of its components. Thanks.